Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you this LEGO Mindstorms EV3 color memory game I made. It is a bit similar to the Simon game and the difference is a bit hard to explain so I'll be explaining it later in the video. It has this rotating base plate with green, yellow, red and blue, that can each be positioned right under the color sensor. The color sensor is attached to the EV3 brick or the P brick using some beams and connectors. Under the rotating plate, is this round part that is attached using an axle allowing it to spin, which, in turn, is attached to the EV3 brick using some parts. Now, I'm gonna switch on the EV3 brick and show you how the game goes. The game starts on the pressing of the center button. The brick says a color and I position that color under the color sensor and click on the center button. Now, the brick says another random color but this time I position the previous colors and the latest color under the color sensor and click the center button each time. Like this, the brick says a random color each time and I have to remember all colors in the sequence so far and click on the button. If I get the entire sequence right, the brick adds another color to the sequence and the game goes on. However, if I get it wrong, the brick plays a buzzer sound and the game ends. As you can't see the display, I'm gonna show you what's shown on the display of the brick now. On the very top of the display is the score. 10 points are added to the score each time you get the sequence right. The questions refers to the number of colors in the sequence so far that you need to remember. And lastly, the answers refers to the number of colors you have answered so far in the current round. The answers and the questions together serve as a clue so that you can get a higher score. The code for this game was a bit tricky but for those of you interested I'm gonna explain it briefly. Each time a random color is said by the brick it is added to the questions array. When I start giving my answers, they are stored in a separate answers array. Once the lengths of both the arrays are equal, the order of the colors in the answers array is checked. If everything matches, another color is added and the game continues. However, if the arrays do not match, it plays the buzzer sound and the game ends. Now, I'm gonna play an entire game and see how far I can get.
At this point I've forgotten the remaining sequence and I'm gonna just enter some random colors. Alright, so I ended with a score of above 100 which I think is pretty decent. If you want to know more about the code let me know down below in the comments. If you would like to see various unique Mindstorms EV3 creations and ideas please consider supporting me by subscribing. Thanks for watching.